back with some more science experiments. This time they include the colors of the rainbow. For this experiment, we need a stir, water, glass, droppers, measuring cup, some food coloring or pigment, and some sugar. What do you think we're gonna do? Um, I don't know. You don't know. Well, we are going to change the density of water. How do you think we're gonna do that? Look at the materials we have. Is the sugar? Yes! I'm calling this experiment Sugar Rainbow. All right, so first we need 100 milliliters of water in your plastic cups. All right, we have all seven. Now we gotta change the color. First one in line for the rainbow is red. So we need two to three drops of your red. For each one, I want us to Gradually put more sugar in as we go. Stir it up real good. It has to fully dissolve. So after thinking it over, we decided just to stop at blue. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. We are leaving the red with no sugar. This one has two teaspoons, this one has four, this one has eight, and this one has 16. Now it's time to make our stack of colors with water, our sugar rainbow. So we want to take the most dense item, which would be your blue, and put it in the bottom in your glass. is going to be orange. Let's go with the orange. All right, we have our orange in. Now it's time for the finale of red. red. Which is just water with color. I see the red, I see the red. But I don't see much orange anymore. Now they're blending. Is the top layer of red. We're gonna have a white paper sit behind it so you guys can get a better view. Here's the final results. Do you like it much? Yeah. Awesome. So as you guys can see, we have the blue, then there's a little bit of green there, and then we got the yellow and orange and red. But overall, we have our sugar rainbow. And as you can see, the density was changed with using sugar. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Awesome. Density measures the amount of mass the amount of stuff in a particular space. The more stuff in the space, the heavier it becomes. When we add sugar to water, the sugar's molecule fills in the spaces between water's molecules, making the sugar water more dense than regular water. And because it's heavy, it will sink to the bottom. By having different amounts of sugar in each cup, it allowed us to stack the waters on top of each other, creating a sugar rainbow. Munch, you're doing your jumping jacks? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I have a science experiment for you. This one is going to be a tasty one. Why? What are we using? Skittles. Skittles. All right, so for this experiment, I'm calling it the rainbow wheel. We are going to make a Ferris wheel using Skittles and water. So what I need you to do is to take some of these Skittles out and align them on the edge of the plate. And don't sneak and eat too many of them. <laughs> oh wait, I think I heard of this before. Like, but instead of skills, he used M and M's. Like we put them around um, on the edges of of the desk, and then you pour the water. All the water, all the color comes out. We need some red in here. Where are the red skittles? I don't know. And where's the yellow? I don't know. And where's the blue? And where's the green? And where's the olive? gotta go digging for them. Yeah, you're getting all the same colors. Oh, I see some yellow. Ah, you're sneaking one. You're sneaking a red one. We need the red ones in our Ferris wheel. So Munch is eating some. <laughs> and I'm eating some. But our wheel is ready. Let's finish chewing before we pour the water. All right, Munch. So you take the water and you pour it inside. 
very slowly. Don't let it pass over the Skittles. Well, red looks like it's the first out of the gate. Oh, I see a, a bunch of colors. You see the red and the yellow? Yes, yeah, so we have red. We have orange. We have yellow. We have green. And where are they all heading to? The middle. Well, what do you think it's going to take? I don't know. Maybe like a couple of minutes, but we'll time lapse. Okay. Time lapse it now. Wonder why the color moves towards the center? Well, when the water touches the candy, it starts to dissolve the food coloring. The density of the new colored water increases and spreads out to the less dense areas, which is to the plain water, and it continues to move toward it, making what looks like a rainbow Ferris wheel. Hey, Munch. Yeah? I have magical powers. Do you know what I can do? Yeah. I can make water crawl from this cup to this cup this cup to this cup, from this cup to this cup. You know how? Yeah. I have to use paper towels. So basically, they are going to crawl from one cup to another, and then to the next one, and you will see that red and yellow make orange. I'm calling this experiment the rainbow crawl. All right, much. so what I need you to do is to take the paper towels and fold them twice in half using the ball. Good. Now stick one part in here. Nope, open it up. Open it up again. Stick it in there. And just sit it in there. I need you to do it for this one as well. There's a lot of folding with this experiment, right, Munch? Yeah. You're doing a great job, though. Yeah. So now we have to put it in here. And in there. And keep doing that all the way through. This process does take time, so it may take an hour, it may take longer. We're always going to come back and check on it until it's fully done. But as you can see, the water is crawling up the paper towel, right, much? Yeah. See over here, it's crawling up. I'll we'll put this little cardboard back here so that you guys can get a better view. Awesome. Water moves up the paper towel through a process known as capillary action. 
Capillary action is when liquids can flow in a narrow space, even against gravity. Here, the water is traveling through the spaces found in the fibers of the paper towel. When the water reaches the empty cups, we now see how colors blend to form new colors, creating our rainbow crawl. Well, we hope you like these cool experiments. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.